we have two kinds of stream here. The blue one is related to material stream and the red one is related to energy stream. So every time that I needed to define composition, pressure, temperature, mass flow, I will use the material stream. And in the other hand, every time that I need to define an energy that will be exchanged with the system heating up or cooling down, I will use the red stream. And let's begin with the definition of a material stream. So I will click two times on that. It will open a submenu with a lot of information, but we must use are three groups of information. The conditions and pair standard Icepan High Seas will always open your material stream in this group of information. In any case, it will record your last tab that you accessed. The other one is property. And here, we don't fill any information. We only get the information that is loaded from the fluid package based on the conditions of pressure, temperature, composition, and etc. And the third group of information that we have is composition. And we will start from here to define our stream. And once I highlight one of these fields, I can digit a number. And another submenu opens and I can define if my composition is in mole fraction, if it is mass fraction, or it is mole flow, mass flow, liquid volumes flow. And most often we use mole fraction or in some cases we use mole flows or mass flow. It will depend on the objective and the information that you have to build your process simulation. So for this case, I have a mix of 50-50 percentage of components and we use the fraction. We not use the percentage. And you can see that there is a totalizer here. And every time that you working with fractions, it doesn't matter if it's small fraction or mass fraction, the total must be one. However, if you fill the information with a number below one or above one, once you click on OK, the Aspen High Seas will redistribute the fraction in order to get one as the final result. So let's take a look. So you can see that it changed and the summing up of this will be one and it can lead you to errors in your process simulation because you will have a different composition that you are you were supposing to have in your process simulation. So it is very important to make sure that you are filling correctly the mole fractions of your composition or the composition of your stream. Once I have done that, I can click on OK and now it is set. And the next thing to do is to add the conditions of my process simulation and most often we add information to temperature and pressure and we get the other results related to the properties of the stream. And in this case, I will assume that the temperature is minus 25 Celsius. And you can see that as I'm using the international standard, the pressure is in kilopascal, but I want to have my process simulation in bar. And to solve that, I can go to the unit set. And instead of using the kilopascal, I can change the units of my process simulation, going to the units of measure and changing the kilopascal to bar. And when I click on OK, the process simulation now converted the information to bar. And in this case, I will consider that the pressure in the vessel A is 1.5 bar. And with that, I have liquid at my vessel A. And the only information that I don't have right now is information related to flow. 
and I can set the molar flow or I can set the mass flow. And you can see that every time that I have a blue field is something that I can feel. And when I have a information that is in black, it is calculated by the Aspen High Seas. So the information about the mass flow I have from the problem and it is 25,000 kilograms per hour. And the remaining information was calculated by the Aspen High Seas. And all this calculation is based on the fluid package that we have chosen and it is here in this base one. If you open that, it will address to Peng Robson. And in the properties, you can see a series of information related to the properties of your stream.